You know a game is going to be full of promise when the devs have to immediately disavow before the title screen. I, on the other hand, completely condone everything that is going to be discussed in this video. Except maybe this. But if I get purged because of a questionable looking anime girl, since Japan can't simply not sexualize a child, I can always join political YouTube. And actually, she's a thousand year old dragon. Goodbye Frost is a pain in the ass to edit, and a game I constantly forget the name of. But my Alzheimer's aside, it places you in the shoes of an entrepreneur starting a new VTuber company. V being a vagina, and Tube being seven black men's BBCs. This is a description of fruit, where's the actual script? Oh, here it is. It's in the hands of this small African child. Club Bifrost is a game where you run a brothel, with the workforce being compromised of slaves bought on the black market. This really is political YouTube. The game takes place in a multi-ethnic society, so it is rife with slavery. <laughs> I'm not joking, that is the actual explanation in the game. I love Japan so much, if I could, I would take back one of the nukes. After making the dire mistake of drinking in the proximity of a vagina happer, the main character is shackled with immense debt and must find a way to pay his debts. Now in this position, he could get a job, start a business, scrounge on the streets, be a VTuber, why'd I say scrounge on the streets twice? Slave labour. My partner in Rare Goods was given the name Ripped Man at Birth and is a skull emoji away from severe brain rot. He informs us the current generation is so kuma brained they can't get off to regular women anymore. Now I think this claim is utterly ridiculous, so let me throw it to our expert in porn, Mia Khalifa. No! Real deep shit. Make sure. Make sure think about a lot. The game gives you the option to pick your starter. They each have different stats and abilities and characteristics and graphic designs. Now you could be a big brained individual and buy two, or you could be like me and buy the expensive one because they have the biggest investment return. Now after acquiring our tenticular property, we have the training menu. This is all about stats, percentages, numbers, and the trajectory of the stars when rotating your cranial cavity at a 24 degree angle. Fuck this, I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands up! Because the Japanese can only get off if an Excel spreadsheet is involved. I am a good Christian man, so I choose the petting option. It was not wholesome 100. <laughs> it not only reduced my pride, my father's pride, Kill God's yourself. pride, but also her pride. Speaking of sins, it's time to open shop. The local townspeople have a waifu eldritch abomination of your choosing forced upon them. And if you studied the 50 mechanics correctly, you can reduce their energy meter, permanently killing them. How is this good for business? Would you not want to be snoo snoo to death by a dragon girl? After the first day, the game says fuck you and adds 7 different mechanics and stores and huh? refuses to explain any. You have the item dealer who sells smut. Construction, where you can build a PR room because it isn't a crime if people like you. And the agency. We don't talk right, about the right. agency. Now the dialogue in the game could be described as gut-wrenching, but once you see enough cartel and Islamic execution videos and what the zoo sadists have wrought, you become numb to the pain. Just like our fine words, because the stamina dropping to zero injures them but they recover the next cycle. What they don't recover from is the mental scars. If the mental stat drops to zero, they enter a comatose-like state that they never recover from. It's time to go out back. They can also get cancer aids. Um, actually, they could use they, them pronouns. I'm gonna get a gig at the Daily Wire with comedic chops like that. Bro, 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 bro. I've got a great movie idea. What if we said, Trans bad for four hours. Shin Nob Narb, founder of Rape Live, you are a genius. Your penis is huge and your raping ability is unparalleled. Did you know that my wife is a doctor? Fuck that gay guy shit. It's auction time, baby. So. <laughs> yeah!